Hello guys and welcome back to Let's Play Bar Saga. Today we're going to start uh, chapter 4. And it looks like we're going to change uh, a few points again. We're going to uh, play a different main character one more time. Actually, it's back to Rook's group. Which last we saw them, he had just managed to enter the city of Frostfather with all the refugees. And this guy was uh, kind of like uh, in charge of security inside the city. What did I tell you, Rook? The man has a crazed look about him. He stands, X pointed in your direction, on the other side of a dozen men. Wow! Thank you, you son of a bitch. Remember what I said? Think carefully about what you want. This is what you get. Thank you, walks away, leaving you to deal with his thugs. Okay, looks like we're going to be fighting. <laughs> On a positive note, uh, all the injuries we had sustained uh, from last time have already healed, so currently we are all fresh. And on the negative note, I assume this won't last for long since uh, since we're probably going to get injured again. <laughs> but who knows? Let's see. Let's uh, hold on. I think this guy was 10 8 and Morgan was uh, 8 10. I think I prefer the guy with the bigger armor. Although, I wonder whether I should. Put the archers in the back again. Yeah, let's do that. Let's see. I wonder what kind of battle we're going to fight. Okay, we're surrounded. That's unfortunate. So I think uh, because of that I want to start way over in this corner and put the archers in the back so I don't get hit and actually I want to put Ivor more to the middle yeah since he's going to be doing all of the tanking actually you know what Let's do it like this, I guess. Uh, I mean, this guy will be tanking, and this guy will be just uh, doing this. Uh, what was it called? Bloody flail. And these guys are far away from any of those enemies, so they won't be get hit at least on the first turn. So let's go. So we start with Tyver. Well, I guess can hit this guy for 7 right away. And I know, yikes, 12. So he won't be able to hit, so only her. And this guy will be injured, so only him and her are, are going to hit Tyver. But, I mean... It's part of the game at least, better him than one of the weaker party members. Let's conserve our willpower for now. And body flail. <laughs> uh, yikes. So, 3 health and 1 armor. Well, that's not very good. But at least... And he lost... <laughs> Uh, due to return the favor, which triggers every time Ivor gets hit, every time he hit him, he lost one armor for each hit. So, I guess... I can even break his armor even more. Alright. 
So this guy is only three. We don't need to. Let's bring him a bit to the side, I guess. And now with Rook. Let's see, Alert cannot hit anyone anyway, but. I think with him I'm going to break his armor. Seeing he has quite a bit of uh, armor break. And then with Alet. Oh, the only issue is that. Ivor will be stuck again. Yikes, okay. Yeah, I mean, he's stuck anyway, so... We better kill this guy, so that he can move in this direction. So I guess, I don't know. I mean, if I go here... I mean... One thing at a time, I guess. Let's hit him for 6. Yikes, willpower. Oh boy, Ivor is in trouble. So now with you, I can hit him. If I go here. And she should be able to stay far away from everybody else. Yeah, let's do this. 6 and he'll be left with 5. Nice. Okay, and he's tanking. Good. So now... I'm guessing it's good to go here. And hit this guy for 5. Alright, nice. So Ivor, man. Uh, Let's see, use two willpower and hit the archer. Yeah, that's right. And with you... I'm guessing I can... So this guy is three, five, seven. Let's see, first is going to be him, he's probably going to hit, hit Tyler. Let's hit you. And actually I should probably kill him because he's going to do the bloody flail again. If I don't. Then this guy is going to be f uh, sooner and then this guy. Yeah, let's kill him. <laughs> Okay. Haha, <laughs> 16 armor, huh? Yeah. That's because he used this stone wall ability. Who should I hit? This guy is for. I'm guessing I could do bloody flay on him. Or even hit him for damage. Yeah. Now he's almost ineffective. And with Rook. With Rook I could. Could break his armor so that Alet can hit him. Let's see. Fortunately, he is out of willpower, but... Oh, so everybody is going on Ivor. Yikes, but he is almost with... Well... Seven, huh? Yeah, let's uh, leave him at one, I guess. Oh, what the hell happened? Oh, right, okay. But why Why didn't it tell me? Now I wasted two willpower. So basically archers had this uh, ability called Puncture, which deals bonus damage to targets who have lost armor if the archer has not moved. So if you recall, Alet hadn't moved. And... Uh, 
and uh, she made uh, she did damage to him because he had lost his armor but uh, it, it only said seven damage so I basically it due to the missing armor it was I think uh, for each two points of armor missing one extra damage so three extra damage well never mind let's just continue so when is his turn I guess I should I could either break his armor a bit or I could uh, use this uh, special ability but uh, let's break his armor actually and they're all going to an Ivor who's left with no armor now but Uh, uh, yikes, he's actually tanking all the damage. Should I kill her, I guess, or... Or try to break this guy's armor. Well, that's not good. Due to this stone wall, Let's kill her, I guess. Wow. <laughs> that was a big break. Um, three, two, and eight. Let's break his armor a bit. No, 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 not stone wall. Yeah, like this. Okay, good. Keep hitting Hogan. Haha, <laughs> I don't care. Let's use Bloody Flay on you. Uh. And he is dead. Which is good, actually. He is not so important as the rest of the party members. Let's hit him for six. And now they're going to go after Ivor, who he's left with no armor. <laughs> let's see, let's hit... Uh, oh. Who's first? You? Let's see, maybe I will kill him again. No, not this time. Alright. Old life. Uh, so first he's going to hit Tyver for 3 as well. Well, nothing I can do unfortunately about that. Who's going to do that? Him? Well, as long as it's not him, that's fine. I guess, yeah, let's hit him for two. Okay. Um, hmm. <laughs> so now he cannot... Oh, can he? How can he move so much, I wonder? Let's see, one... We kill someone, yeah. Let's kill him, I guess. Although, even 70% chance, which is not good. I go here, he have a bit higher armor. Although, this guy will kill me anyway. But let's try it, I guess. And deflected, unfortunately. Oh, he actually didn't do anything. He did stone wall again. Haha. <laughs> Who's next? Him? Yeah, let's start killing those guys. It will be 
nice if Ivor can stay alive. Let's see, who can she hit? No, okay. So one, three. Um, should I do Mark Prey actually on this guy? Yeah, let's do that. Those two are going to kill him. I'll use one willpower. Let's see. Oh, let's use Mark Prey level two. So this will cost two break damage. Ah, uh, okay. This was a bad idea. I thought he would still be able to do break damage. And she can do thread the needle. So she'll hit uh, Eagle as well, but that's okay because. Uh... <laughs> yeah, okay. Up to here. Because he has... <laughs> nice! Killed both of them. And unfortunately... Oh! He dodged! Oh my god! That was so nice! Yeah, I forgot he had this ability. Yeah, but unfortunately he's going to die anyway. <laughs> well, that sucks. Come on, die already. Yeah, Ivor is pretty tanky, but uh, even he cannot survive that onslaught. Let's see. I want Truk to get some kills. Pillage mode. And let's kill him. And we're done. Let's see, promotion for Alet, nice. And Hogan, and unfortunately, Ivar is also injured. Yeah, it's actually that's not good because Varro takes six, six days of rest to. Yeah. As much as I hate to admit it, Rook, you're right. We can't stay here. If we are not murdered in our sleep, it's only a matter of time before the dredge find their way in. There's no defending these new walls. So where do we go? By now the dredge have already flooded the south, I'm sure. Wait a minute, how, how do you know that? And why the south? Don't they come from the north? Worm toes the only thing that makes sense across the wastes. Dredge won't follow us out there. And I might know someone there who can help us. We get to Wormtoe, we find Varro who won't try to kill us. We find safety. Get everybody up and we'll make a break for it. Okay. Let's see. So I think... Is it now the last save? Okay, good. Alright. I think that's a good time to end this video. Let's keep it a bit short. So, I'll see you next time, guys. Bye bye.